Hello again, friends. Just for today, I will be unafraid, believing that as I trust in God with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding, he will lead me along a good path. Facing today without fear, that's a tall order. It's clear from just a brief look at slogans and acronyms from AA or NA that fear dwells in the mind of many. Here are some examples. Fear, failure expected and received. Fear, forget everything and run. Fear, frantic effort to appear real. We so easily can cycle around desperation and failure and so easily lose track of who we are. New seasons or situations with unknowns can bring fear, possibility of relationships and intimacy, or meaningful work and growth can sometimes paralyze people with uncertainty and fear. What are we to do? How are we to proceed without fear? On our own, it would be impossible. But what we've come to know is when we turn our will and our life over to the care of God, we are no longer alone. God promises to be with us and show us a way forward, even when we don't see a way. All we have to do is seek his will for us and follow his path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. There are a couple other acronyms for fear that may help us in our journey. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear, face everything and recover. Heavenly Father, when fear tells us we can't get ahead and be successful, help us to remember that this is untrue. You have the power to do more than we can ask or imagine. When we think our past is too much to face, we can reject that thought for the lie that it is. Our past does not define our future. We have come to new life in Christ, and so the old is gone and the new has come. Your word says, we know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. Please fill us today, God, until we're overflowing with the power of your Holy Spirit so fear loses its power in our lives. We will live unafraid today, knowing that we are your beloved daughters and sons. Amen. Okay, now it's time for us to put action to that choice. Just for today, we will be unafraid, believing that as we trust in God with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding, he will lead us along a good path.